Ham Tech. Welcome back to my videos on the Fagi Reborn software. Now this one has been completely modified. It actually receives the HF bands. But anyway, I'm just going to show you how you select the, the transmit selections or transmit ability. You just go to menu. Okay, menu, just a short press, not a long press. Then go up and down until you see presets, like so, menu. And then you go up and down. And of course, it's not going to allow you to transmit on everything uh, but some bands in some can countries are allowed so there you are pmr for example menu now you still need to let check the license conditions in your wherever you live in your license etc to be able to transmit here so i'm not even going to transmit but once you've selected that go to the preset and select it it will transmit. So that's it really, thought I'd let you know. Uh, another one that I keep getting asked is about the backlight. So you just go menu and just go to, let's have a look now, actually no, exit. Hold down menu, so hold it down and then go up and down until you see backlight, go menu again. And then look, you've got your brightness there. You see it going bright like so. And then if you exit once with the exit button here, you've got the backlight time. And if I go menu, you'll see it's just on, but you can set a time. And it is, you know, having that backlight on permanently is, is so annoying. I'll quickly show you HF um, before I go. And then, but I am making much longer tutorials on the Fagi Reborn system. So mine has been modified. I've got an adapter there, BNC adapter onto an SMA connector onto the antenna. I'm using the same long wire that I would use on my ICOM 705 and 7077 and my HF radio. So that's on there now. If I turn it up and then put in the frequency, so we're gonna go uh, seven, and then to get the dot, just press the star, one, then one, five, zero, and then menu. And sometimes it will switch over. Uh, to make sure we're in the right mode. Now I've noticed I've had to reboot this to get it to work, but just so you know, to change the mode, hold down the zero, okay? Obviously we want, oh, it says, when it says wait, it's, it, I find that when it does that, it starts to work. <laughs> um, but that is not sounding great at any, but 7150, and to go into V, we're in VFO mode now, which is where you can type the frequency, it's not a memory channel. But to go into memory channel, hold down three. That's a memory channel. Hold on, let's turn it off and then on. Because I think I enabled the normal broadcast radio. There's a pause. Now remember, if you ever load this firmware onto your device, you 100 million percent need to back it up first. So we're now on HF. You can hear... And earlier on, that was booming through. It does. It and sounded a lot better than that. You go menu, go to VFO Pro menu. Just trying to get this text bigger. Better. <laughs> My antenna must. Not a best co connection on my antenna. And remember, you know, this is a, also VHF, UHF, it does airband as well. You go 133.850, three, menu, and if a plane flies over, and it's already gone to AM, but we can change the mode, we get airband. We did get airband, but I missed it. But anyway, more videos on that later. Bye for now.